I'm Abhishek Mangalkar, Fellow under the Division of Hematology and Medical Oncology at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm here to talk about an upcoming article in Mayo Clinic Proceedings entitled Short Telomere Syndromes in Clinical Practice. I would like to acknowledge the senior and co-author of this article, Dr. Manal Patnaik, Associate Professor with the Division of Hematology at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. Telomeres are uh, hexanucleotide structures made of DNA and proteins located at the ends of chromosomes and have a physiologic function of preventing loss of genetic material with each DNA replication. They are tightly regulated by several gene complexes and proteins. In particular, an enzyme called telomerase is responsible for maintaining telomere length. A mutation in one of these genes in patients causes them to have reduced telomere lengths compared to normal age match controls, which in turn leads to accelerated aging. This affects organ systems with an increased cell turnover, such as the lungs, bone marrow, gastrointestinal tract, liver, and the immune system. Collectively, we identify these disorders as short telomere syndromes. These disorders often tend to run in families, and hence it is critical for clinicians to recognize this entity. Common clinical symptoms include premature graying of hair, unexplained cytopenias, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, and cryptogenic cirrhosis. Early recognition of these disorders is important as organ-specific transplantation is often necessary, which often mandates a search for donors within the same family. Since these disorders are often inherited and often manifest later in life, it, it is possible that some of, these, uh, some of the potential donors are carriers for the same pathogenic gene variants as the patients. To quote an example, if an allogeneic hematopoietic stem cell transplant is considered for a young patient with dyskeratosis congenita, a characteristic bone marrow failure syndrome associated with shortened telomeres, it is important to exclude the known DKC-associated mutation in siblings before choosing them as stem cell donors. With the assistance of the Center for Individualized Medicine, Mayo Clinic has established a unique clinic to diagnose and prospectively follow patients with telomere-related disorders and other inherited bone marrow failure syndromes, along with precursor myeloid neoplasms. Clinicians, molecular biologists, and bioinformaticians regularly meet as a group and discuss strategies to unravel molecular abnormalities responsible for the patient's disease and symptoms, screen family members, and utilize this information to provide better clinical care. The field of telomere biology is still in its adolescent stage with many genetic defects still not discovered in humans. In addition, there are epigenetic me uh, mechanisms of telomere length regulation which are not fully understood. Our hope with this article is to raise awareness among clinicians to recognize these clinical entities, to not only provide multidisciplinary clinical care for these patients, but also to enrich our cumulative knowledge, to better understand the biology of these disorders with the eventual goal of enabling disease-modifying therapies in the future. Thank you for your attention, and we hope you enjoy reading our article. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.